Good afternoon, everybody, or oh, whatever time of day it is with you. So, midweek on your map, I believe it's 13. And a little bit of an energising practice today to help us over the midweek slump. Rebalancing, re energising practice, a bit of yoga flow. I'll just sit for a moment and take the awareness in which you might want to shut the eyes and tune into how you're feeling. And what you'd like to get out of the practice, what you need for you. And then bring your awareness back, soften your shoulders, sit lovely and tall and take your right hand down and open up to the left, do a nice stretch all the way through the left side. So you can push the palm up or have the palm facing down, soften the shoulders and just start to think about your tummy, your ribs, your chest all revolving towards the left, keep the shoulders soft, root down through your sitting bones and lengthen out the waist and feel the space you're making between the ribs and breathe into that space. That's it, breathe well, keep the shoulders soft and don't collapse too much in the underside of the body, keep the right sh shoulder just drawing down, maybe you are bending the right elbow, a couple more breaths. It's so rarely that we stretch through the sides of the body. I think it's a really wonderful thing to do. And what's that left shoulder doing? Let's do some nice big circles there, just to free it up. It's a nuisance when all the furniture's in the way, isn't it? But sometimes it's very good because I can use it as a prop. Good and bad things about being at home. Good. And then a big stretch up, lengthen all the way through the side of the body, make that space and take your left hand to your right knee or right out of thigh, place the right fingers behind you and you breathe in, you really lengthen through the spine and breathe out, draw your tummy in, see if you can get round a bit further. So with the breath, breathing in all the way up from your roots, all the way to the crown of the head. And breathing out, softening, easing round a bit further. And maybe tuck your chin in and just take your gaze round a bit, watch your neck, and push on your knee to get round a bit more. So as you breathe in, really feel that you draw up from Muladhara Chakra all the way up to the crown of the head. And breathe out, draw your belly and get round a bit more. Shoulders soft, face relaxed. Our twist is so good for our digestive organs and toning our liver. Well done. I'm going to come to the front and a big stretch up again through that left side. Very gently cradle your head. Take your head over towards the left. Take your right hand on your shoulder and gently ease away as we stretch out the side of the neck. Relax your neck, heavy, heavy heads, follow the breath. And then tuck your chin in, maybe to look at your outer thigh. Maybe give a little nod here. Keep dropping the right shoulder. We hold so much in our neck, don't we? Breathe well, relax. Relax the forehead, relax the jaw. Well done, come up, relax the shoulders, do some nice big circles here, well done, and the other way. 
place your left hand down open over to the right and stretch the right side so I quite like to have the palm up because I feel I'll just make a bit more space but it's up to you soften both the shoulders particularly that left one you need to bend the elbow a bit that's fine push down with your right sitting bones and see how much space you can make through the right side oh it's so yummy to stretch through the side of the body isn't it to feel that space between the ribs we're stretching out the muscles between the ribs. When they're tight, it can give us a pain in the neck and the shoulders and restrict our breathing. Couple more breaths. Good. And breathing in and breathing out and reach the lovely stretch and then circle. Nice big circles like you combing the air with your fingers, you're lubricating that shoulder, well done, and the other way, oh I've got muddled up now, that's the other way, <laughs> sometimes it really feels a bit icky that shoulder doesn't it, and then reach up, root down, see if you get even more space there, and we come over towards your left, just cap the knee lightly, sit beautifully tall, place the fingertips behind you and make sure you're not leaning back. And as you breathe in, feel that length all the way up the spine from your base chakra to the crown of the head. And as you breathe out, draw your tummy in. Think about your tummy, your ribs, your chest, your shoulder and tuck the chin in and maybe just turn your gaze round. Breathing in from that base, Muladhara chakra, all up the spine to the crown of the head. And breathing out, rooting down. So we've got these two lines of energy. The inhale lifts us, and the exhale just gives us that connection to the earth. A couple more. Draw your tummy in, just squeeze the breath out. Well done. Come to the front. Big length all the way through the right side. Just cradle the head in your hands. Let the head feel heavy. Relax, drop through the left shoulder. Place the left hand on the left shoulder and make some space here. Good. Stretching out that big muscle down the side of the neck is called the sternocleidoid mastoid muscle. That's a mouthful, isn't it? And tuck your chin in. Looking towards your armpit, towards your thigh, let your head feel heavy. Take a few breaths in. Relax the shoulders. We hold a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders, don't we? And maybe give your head a little nod or tuck the chin in more. Do what feels right for you. Well done. Take your hands on your knees and we'll circle. So just let all of the spine have a resonance with the movements. From the tailbone to the crown of the head and start to keep your sitting bones fairly still. They might move a bit. Sitting bones and legs fairly still. Exhale forward, inhale back and Maybe you're going to start to take opposite shoulder to opposite knee and work into what I call the nitty gritty. Good. Make the circles even bigger. Let's go the other way. Good. So you're starting to feel lovely and free. The spine feels beautifully free and my teacher says, think of your spine as a piece of seaweed floating in the ocean. Come into the neck. Just checking in how you're feeling in the body today, in the sides of the body. Anywhere that feels a bit stuck, a bit tight. Well done. Oh, relax the shoulders. So your knees might be complaining a bit. 
take a nice big stretch out in down headed dog you could roll onto the hands and knees but if that's not for you i'm just turning around so you can see me better tuck your toes under give them a really good stretch out take your hands just in front of your shoulders and spread your fingers out you want the weight on the base of the index finger and, and index finger and thumb. You don't want to roll onto the outer edges of the hands. Lift the knees, start to push down with your hands, draw your ribs towards your thighs, tuck your chin in, look at your thighs. And as you push down with your hands, you lift your sit bones and you come into this big upside down V. Keep drawing the ribs towards the thighs. And you could take a slow walk here, you could breathe in. Bend one knee, breathe out, hold. Breathe in, bend the other knee, breathe out, hold. Well done. Keep pressing down with the hands, drawing up through the sides of the body. Keep the neck long. Just walking the dog or anything else that suits you. Breathe well. If you know Ujjayi breath, that subtle throaty breath where the throat's, throat's slightly constricted, do that. It's quite a good one for stimulating your throat, your thyroid, when the chin's tucked in. Good. Lift up high. Bend the knees. Take the knees apart if you want or not. Sit your sitting bones back on your heels. You can... Just rest your head in your hands if you like, like that. Or you can stretch the arms out and forehead down, or you can come up on fingertips and you can get chest chin down, but that might be a bit early in the practice yet. Just want you to feel that lovely stretch all the way from your fingertips or your fingers, all the way up the arms, the shoulders, if your arms are in front of you, shoulders back to your hips. So. We're making space through the front of the body, through the sides of the body. And sometimes it's quite nice to take the hips a little bit further apart. And you might get your body in the legs again. Just invite your inner thighs, your inner knees to release a bit further. Legs and your tailbone. Feel the breath in the back between the shoulders and breathe well. Allow yourself to soften. Think about that lovely breath. Breathing out slow. Breathing out slow. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out soft and deep. And knowing that when you're supported by the earth, and following your breath, it's such a good foundation for your practice. Come up slowly. Well done. Let's come to kneeling at the back of your mat. Roll the shoulders round a bit. Let's warm up the spine with a few cat cows. So you're going to breathe in and look up. Lift your tail. Round the back. Tuck the chin in. Look at your thighs. Pressing down with hands and knees. Good cow this one, or up cat. And then you tuck the tail under, you round the back, you tuck the chin in. So whichever way we move, we tail, spine, crown of the head. And there's so many postures. But this is one of my favourite ones. Even if you manage a few of these every day, that's Sometimes all you need. So we've got this lovely, healthy, free, flexible spine. That's really the basis of our practice. And they do say you're only as young as your spine is flexible. Well done. Come back to kneeling. Relax your shoulders. We'll do some of our little sun greetings, which I've done before in the practice. So at the back of your mat, and if kneeling's not good for you, we're not really going to be here for, here for long. Prayer hands to the heart. Breathe in and breathe out namaste. Breathe in, greet the sun. 
lift your heart, you can look up if you like, it's as much back bend as you need, tuck the tail under. Exhale, dive forward to the earth, greet the earth. Hands and knees look up, tuck the toes under, lift the heels up and down dog. Exhale, ease the heels down towards the mat, stretch up calves. Come again, lift high. Exhale, heels down, push on the balls of the feet. Good, keep the knees soft. One more. Lifting up high, that big upside down V. Ease the heels down, push on the balls of the feet. Well done. Come onto the knees, draw the chest through, front of the feet on the mat, stretch it back, exhale. Coming up to kneeling, hands meet in the greeting. And we come again. Let's get a lovely flow with your breath here. You can look up if you like, but lift the eyes, not the chin and dive forward, exhale completely, inhale, exhale down dog, and it's three rises, inhaling, and exhaling, draw the ribs towards the thighs, and again, push down with your hands, lift higher, Exhale down, push through the balls of the feet. Maybe lift the toes. Well done. One more. Stay strong. Maybe engage Mula Banda. That's your root lock. A little lift in the pelvic floor. Come down. Onto the knees. Draw the chest through. Front of the feet on the mat. Exhale. Well done. Come to kneeling. Hands meet at the press. So just one more of these. Lift your heart. Push your thighs forward. Just imagine there's a little hand behind your shoulders and you can let go even more in your back bend. Stretching through the sides of the body. Hands and knees look up. Lift your sit bones. Lift your heels. Exhale, heels down. And again. Exhale down, keep the neck long, ears level with the upper arms. Up, one more of these, big stretch up, heels down. Well done. Hands and knees look up, just take it back. Just rest in child here and take a little rest. You might want to just sort of take your hands forward and circle your wrists or flip the fingers out. Anything you feel you need to do or just rest your forehead on the mat and be soft. And if you're resting, feel the breath in the back body. Relax your forehead. See if you can sink a little bit further into the earth. Feel supported by the earth. Take a moment to rest. Good. Come up slowly. Take a squat. So if squatting's not for you, if your knees don't like it, just stay seated a moment. Okay, I'm going to turn around so you can see me. If you want to put a brick under your heels, please do. My heels don't touch the ground. Sometimes that helps. Take your hands to your heart. And just imagine there's a little weight attached to your tailbone, pulling you down and lift your chest. And your tummy's nice and firm to support you. And maybe drawing up from down below, Mola Bandi or Root Lock. Left hand wedges against the left inner leg. Take your right hand to your knee and start to look behind you. Just like you're being nosy, what's behind you then? Think about your tummy, your ribs, your chest, all revolving in this twist. And then lift up your arm and open. Lovely open twist to your right. Push down with the left hand, get a bit more juice to it. Breathe well. See if you can open even more. Breathe into the space you're making in the ribs. So these lovely open postures, especially if you've been sitting at your desk or in your home office this week. A couple more breaths. Sometimes you get a lovely click here. Well done. Come to the centre. Take your hands to your heart a moment. Lovely straight spine. These squats are really good for our digestive organs. Place your right hand down and get a bit of a wedge there to support you. Take a wee look over to the left, that's it. Stop thinking about the tummy, the ribs, the chest, the shoulder. 
look behind you and then you can open up I didn't say last time I'm so sorry you could always just wrap the arm round if the shoulders a bit of the see if you can get around that bit further there that's it three more breaths and a bit more keep smiling there you're doing beautifully <laughs> so what we're going to do from here is we release any supports and if you're not squatting you just slowly come to forward bend and come up to standing let's slowly slowly come up and reset the spine just like you're pulling on a big pair of socks all the way up to the top of your thighs well done good hope you're feeling all right have a drink or anything that you want to because we're moving a wee bit now <clears throat> good come and stand at the front of your mats this next one's called rocking horse drinking birds i've got my feet hip width apart lift your toes up and spread them out to feel a good foundation you're going to breathe in and lift up take a seat this is rocking horse or chair exhale swing your arms back into drinking bird look ahead inhale bend the knees rocking horse exhale forward swing your wings back good Get a lovely flow with your breath so this is beautifully strengthening for your legs inhale sit a bit deeper you're always moving from your hips and forwards keep the knees bent if you need to this one and one more then exhale ribs towards the thighs come and meet me in chair let's take a few breaths here you can reach the arms up you can take your hands to your heart or you can take your hands in your hips Drop the shoulders down. So think about that two line of energy. You breathe in, you lengthen all the way up the spine from the tailbone to the crown of the head. You breathe out, you root down. Squeeze knees and thighs together. Follow the breath. Breathing in, lengthening the spine. Breathing out, sinking down a bit further. We've only got two more breaths. Breathing in and out. Keep smiling. Breathing in and out well done let's find your forward bend keep the knees soft and hang out there have a wiggle well done look up you're going to step your right leg back and mirroring you just tuck your right toes out and walk back a bit so you get a nice yummy stretch through the front thigh put the front of the foot on the mat or keep the toes tucked under for balance hand is on the hip Let's open up to your crescent moon. So you can have the hands apart or you can together in the prayer or the mudra, it doesn't matter. If they're apart, just start to draw the pinky fingers towards the front and you find the shoulders sliding down the back. Draw your ribs down, tuck your tail under, but lift your pubic bone up towards your ribs like there's a magnetic force between the two. You can look up if you like, but feel you can lengthen out the back of the neck couple more breaths breathing in and out and sink a bit deeper one more breath breathing in and out reach place your right hand down if you need a support if you need a brick get one take a look behind you now we're coming into a twist again like we did from squat and open up your wings five breaths here might come back a little bit more open up a bit more one two that's lovely three a little bit more just make it your own four breathing in and out and well done i'm going to come back through plank take your knees down if it's better for you let's hold plank think about our strength Stretch the heels away, lift up through the thighs, that's one breath. Press down with your hands, broaden the shoulders, that's two. 
three. So feel you can draw your front hip points towards each other. That's going to support your tummy. Four, breathing in and out. So if you can come down through a raised push up two. I'm just going to bring my knees down for this one. Elbows stay in close, come all the way down to your tummy, okay? So you can either keep the elbows on the mat in sphinx or you can do baby cobra. We'll do a few little lifts here, draw the shoulders down the back. Stay low if it's right for you. Breathing in, push the chest through, breathing out, lengthen the spine. Come down. Let's raise up again. In breath. Push the thighs forward, push the thighs down like they're your cobra's tail. Come down and keep your bum relaxed. Come up again one more time. That's lovely. And exhale. One more, hold for five breaths. Keep the neck long. Stay lower if you need to. Take the elbows down if you need to stay in sphinx. But whatever you're doing, draw the chest through with the inhale, lengthen the spine with the exhale. In sphinx and cobra, we don't look up. Our neck's in line with the rest of our spine. Maybe come a bit higher. Straighter the arms are, the nearer the hands are under the shoulders, the harder it is. So, a couple more breaths. Well done. Come to your mat, take your hands under your shoulders and take a nice big yummy yummy stretch back all the way through your back. Have a wiggle if you want to. Rock from side to side. Come onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes under, lift up down dog. Let's take three deep breaths and hold it. One, two, and breathing in. Uh, now, if it's right for you, lift your heels off, lift your right leg all the way up, draw your knee through and step through and take the back knee down. If that's not right for you, just do that from your knees and help it through. It's only practice. Let's come up again. Firm up your tummy, broaden your shoulders, lift your heart. A crescent moon posture. Nice deep breaths into the space of the heart. It's really lovely. So just imagine again there's a hand between your shoulders and you can let go and you've got this beautiful sort of crescent moon shape through the back body. The tail lengthens, pubic bone lifts, the ribs draw down. Breathe well. Think about breathing in energy and breathing out, spreading that energy all the way through you to recharge you, revitalise you, keep you going through the rest of your day or the week. Reach forward, take your hand down, take a wheel up behind you and we open again. So we do four of these all together. See if you can sink a bit lower so you get a yummy stretch through that front thigh, that left front thigh. Follow the breath, if you know Ujjayi breath, that subtle throaty breath, a bit like a soft snore or a Darth Vader sound, or just your natural yoga breath. One more breath, breathing in and out. Take the hands forward, tuck the back toes under, find your forward bend. Keep the knees soft if you need to. Fingers by the toes or hands on the shin. Look up, lovely flat back, fold deep. The inhale brings us all the way up, hands come to the heart. So we're going to do the other side, I'm turning round. So you get a good view of both sides. We come again, we lengthen and we take our chair, okay, or rocking horse. Exhale, hinge, lift your wings. And get a lovely flow with the breath. See if you can sit down a, a little bit deeper here. We're just energising our legs a bit, so if you've been sitting for a long time. Squeeze knees and thighs together, this one and one more. And then take a seat. So get that lovely two line of energy, you inhale, you lengthen all the way out of the waist, the crown of the head, 
and you breathe out your root down and your gaze is ahead. Take your hands to prayer if it's too much on your hips. Keep the shoulders soft, follow the breath, then it's easier. Two more breaths, breathing in and out, and in and out, hinge in the hips, well done. So this time the left leg comes back for a lunge, just the same as the other side. Just check that you've got a nice stretch of that left front thigh muscle. I quite like to put the front of the foot on the mat because it protects my knee, but it's up to you. Feel you can stack your spine on top of your pelvis and lengthen through the sides of the body, but keep the shoulders soft. So that knee still stays over the ankle. Breathe well. Turn little pinky fingers towards the front if it's right for you, or you can do the mudra. Think about breathing in energy and spreading that energy all the way through you to recharge you, revitalize you, <laughs> rebalance you. Sometimes, you know, if I'm going to do a yoga practice, my own or with somebody else, we get quite tired, but I always feel better afterwards. I always feel it's worth it. Couple more breaths. Reach forward, take your hands on your side, take a peek behind you. Back bends and twists are so energizing and revitalizing. Breathe well. So push down with that right hand, left hand, and get a bit of oomph into the practice. Some of you might open up a bit more, I'll leave it to you. Three. Four, breathing in and out, well done. We tuck the toes under, we're going to take full plank or baby plank, hold for five breaths again. So yoga needs to be a balance, 50-50 strength and flexibility. If you've got one without the other, that's when you get injuries. Don't sink in the middle, don't lift your bum up. Firm up your tummy muscles, draw the hip points towards each other and breathe well. Press your hands down, broaden the shoulders, keep the neck long. Just two more breaths, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out, well done. Come forward, I'm gonna come for a raised head press up, Chaturanga Dandasana to the earth, well done. Keep the elbows down. So if you're in sphinx, you press the elbows down and you try to make more length between the elbows and the shoulders while you draw the chest through. Some will come into a little baby cobra. It could even be like this or higher. And we'll look up and then we'll exhale down to the earth. So another two of these. Push your hands down, push your thighs into the mat. Draw the shoulders down, exhale. So it's quite a strong one, isn't it? Keep the tummy lovely and firm. Neck long, that's it, you remember. Bum relax, come down. Well done. I'm going to come up, I'm going to hold. Can you roll onto your left hip, take a little over the right shoulder? And just a little bit of roll here. Right hip, look to the left. And a couple more. Good. Well done. Come down. Take a big stretch back and Really feel your back lengthening now, especially your tailbone after those back bends and twists. Keep the forehead soft. Have a wiggle if you want to. Well done. Hands and knees down dog. Sit so three breaths again. Keep the neck long. Push down through the balls of the feet. Spread the toes out. Spread your fingers out and just check you're not rolling onto your outer edges of your hands. If your shoulders are tight, sometimes it helps to bend the elbows a bit. Well done. Lift the heels off. So, so muddled up here. Lift your left leg up. That's it. I get muddled up between right and left when I turn around. Draw the knee forward. Step the left foot through. Well done. Take your knee down. Just one more of these. Draw the shoulders back. You might even come back even more. And just imagine there's that hand behind your shoulders. Turn the pinky fingers forward if you want to. Breathe well, breathe into the space of the heart. And spread that energy all the way through you. 
I love this posture. It's a staple of Hatha Yoga because it's a lovely heart opening and shoulder opening posture, but it's also so strengthening for your lower body, especially your thighs. You can feel that, can't you, as you tuck the tail under and lengthen. Then you come forward and you take your right hand down and take a look behind us to the left and you can open up. Couple more breaths. That's fabulous. Tuck the back toes under, step the right foot to meet the left. Keep the knees soft if you need to, or put the hands on the shins. Lengthen the spine. Fold deep, the inhale brings us all the way up, take the hands to the heart, well done. So how are you? Okay, I hope we've just got one more standing posture, standing strength. So come to the long edge of your mat, face the long edge of your mat, take your feet nice and wide apart because we're going to come into goddess. I need to bend the knees and keep my knees over my ankles. Just take your hands to your heart, take a few breaths there, sink a bit deeper. So really sort of imagine you've got that weight on your tail again, pulling you down. Push your feet into the mat so you can stretch through your inner thighs. Just imagine you want to rip the mat in two with those feet. Imagine there's a line down the centre of that mat as you sink lower. Well done. Lovely straight spine. I'm going to move in this now. So take your hands to your tummy. You're going to breathe in and lengthen up. Cross the arms and sit down a bit deeper. Good. And again. And see, watch those knees don't migrate to the centre. As you five. This is number three. Keep easing out the inner knees and inner thighs. Sink a bit deeper. And one more. Well done. Stay there. Push the walls away in wide horse, just like you've got to hold the walls up. Five breaths, stay strong. One, two, you might lift your heels off, sink a bit lower. Should we say that's three breaths? Four, and breathing in, and out. Well done, reach up. Big stretch of the legs and the arms, it's shining star. Take a few breaths there. Brilliant, relax the arms. So we're going to just take trikonasana on each side to stretch the legs out. Turn your left foot in, turn your right foot out. Just bend the front knee to start with. And reverse your warrior. So you could be like this, I quite like to look down at the left foot. We could wrap the arm, actually quite nice, let's wrap the arm around today, soften the shoulders. I just want you to feel that lovely space you've made through the right ribs. See if you can open up even more. No claps in the back. If your back's starting to ache, you can always put the hand there, you know. Or see if you can work towards tickling your right inner thigh. It's quite a way to go. I've got quite long arms, so. Just let gravity, the weight of your body and the breath and ease you out. I'm going to straighten the front leg and come back even more. Keep the space through the right side of the body as you reach towards the wall. And you've got lovely length from your left hip to your, towards your right fingers. We're going to take that right hand for triangle. Some might just take it to the knee. But still keep that back arm wrapped round. Some could come down even further, but I do want this. I do want a forward bend. Keep lifting your heart, rolling that top shoulder back. Tuck your left tailbone under, your right buttock under. So if there was a wall behind me, I'd be beautifully flat. It's such a wonderful sort of twist here. You're breathing in, you're lengthening the spine, and breathing out, you're just lifting your heart, you're evolving. Beautifully energising postures, I just love these. And then you can reach your arm up only if it's right and just imagine your arms are extending from your heart centre so there's no shoulders to feel icky. And you don't have to look up if it's a pain in the neck, you can just look ahead, breathe well. You might want to keep that front knee bent a bit but whatever you do, keep both knees soft and drop through your thighs, otherwise they're not doing the work. And we get this balance of this balance between strength and flexibility. 
You're strong and stable, but you're relaxed and soft and gentle, and that's how it works. Let's do some big circles. One, two, just combing air with your fingers. Three, four, and on the fifth one, come all the way up. Well done. We're going to turn the other way. Bend the front knee, check the knees over the ankle, slide the right hand down the leg and make space all the way through the left side. I quite like to look down, but you can look up. I find it less wobbly. You can make the mudra. Let's wrap the arm round if it's for you. Breathe well. See if you can sink a bit lower. So eventually that front thigh's parallel to the floor. Space you're making between the ribs. Press down with your feet, spread your toes out. This is either called reverse warrior, peaceful warrior, or a sun warrior. So straighten the front leg, but keep the knees soft. Push down with the outer edges of both feet. Keep the space all the way through the left side. While you lengthen all the way from your right hip to your left fingers, and see where you're gonna take your hand down. It doesn't matter where you take that left hand. It's more about the shape than that left hand coming all the way to the toes. If you've got a stronger practice and they do, that's fine. Just lift your ribs, roll the right shoulder back, tuck your right tailbone under, draw your left buttock under. So we're flat against that imaginary wall now. Breathe in length in the spine and breathe that revolve a bit more. And sometimes I get a really yummy click in my spine when I do this. And then you can reach your arms in the centre and take about five nice deep energetic breaths here. Breathing in energy and spreading all that energy all the way through you on the out breath. And as you press down with your feet, you get this lovely stretch of the inner thighs. And that's very stimulating for the liver meridians there. Couple more breaths, opening shoulders and heart. Let's do five big circles. One, just maybe following the gaze with your fingers. Two, four, and take it all the way up. Well done, that's brilliant. Come to the front, forward bend down. So take your hands in your hip creases and you've got this lovely length through the spine. Chest is lifted, crown of the head lengthens. A lovely length from the crown of the head to the tail. Keep the tummy firm, keep lengthening, keep the knees soft. And then we can make sure you put your hand in your hip creases and hinge in the hips. And you might fold the arms and you might just go, oh, just like a rag doll. Feel your spine hanging from your pelvis, totally stress free, no effort. And let gravity, the weight of your body and your breaths and the ease you out. You've worked very hard today. Just relax, let go. Don't hold anywhere. Eyes soft, jaw relaxed. Lovely. So you take your hands down, you can heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Bend your knees. And come and take a little seat. So your knees are bent. I'm going to take the knees over towards the left. Right foot on the mat, right foot comes the other side of the left side foot. Ardha Matsi and Drasana, half Lord of the Fishes twist. You may, I mean, you know, you can straighten that leg, but keep it lovely and active, that left leg. So a twist is so good for us, so energising, good for the internal organs. Place your right fingers behind you lightly, and I quite like to reach up, take a back bend here a little bit, and reach the left arm up, and then I can twist. I can think about getting my belly, my ribs, my chest, all the way around. Have my hand like that. It's quite nice to place your hand on your heart or give yourself a big hug, okay? So whatever you like here. I think I'll give myself a big hug this time because um, it's a nice stretch for the outer thigh, the outer glute. Tuck your chin and then just roll your head back if you like a little bit. Breathe well. So think about breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out softly. Breathing all the way up from your root, your tailbone to the crown of the head. Breathing out. 
Just softening down your connection to the earth. Another one. Breathing in, growing tall. Just imagine breathing through the crown of your head and breathing out, feeling connected to the earth, feeling supported. Breathing in, lengthening. Breathing out, feeling grounded. And just take your head and take a look over, over your shoulder to the left side. Take a double twist there. Maybe tuck the chin and take a little nod. And we'll take the whole body over to the left and just gently ease it out. Well done. Take your right foot there. Just another one to open up the sides of the body. Right hand on right shin and open. And reach up to the sky. We'll just hang over that right leg. Keep the right leg beautifully active. You can have the palm up. Start to spin your ribs, your chest, roll the shoulder back, breathe well. So push down with your sitting bone on the left side and see if you can make more space. So you've got this sort of beautiful curve all the way through the left side of the body. Use your breath to allow you to soften. The out breath, the weight of your body and gravity to ease you down and some of you can even just rest your arm in a leg and hold your foot and ease yourself around a bit more and you might even get a, a double bind there so a few more breaths keep the shoulders soft so it could be a little bit of a twist as well and that's fabulous come all the way up lift your heart sort of wild thing breathe well Just enjoy that space you've made in your practice today. And breathing in and out all the way down. Well done. Just easy in a thighs up. Take a little rock here. <laughs> well done. Knees together, knees over to the right. Left foot out to right side. Straight the right leg if you need to. Sit beautifully tall. Make sure there's place for your sitting bone. Lift your chest. I really lengthen from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Take your fingertips behind you and lengthen through the right side. Keep that space while we come round. And this time I've got my hand on my heart. I just push myself around with the elbow a bit. Keep the shoulders soft. Tuck the chin in. Take your gaze back. So think about breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out softly. Breathing in all the way from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Breathing out, rooting down. You've got a nice little click there. Breathing in all the way from the tailbone, your root. Muladhara, all the way up to the crown of the head. Breathing out, drawing your belly in. Giving your digestive organs a good squeeze here. Well done. Just take your head, look the other way, look over the shoulder, give the neck a little stretch and tuck the chin in and take a nod. Let's follow all the way round. A few breaths there. Ease out. Release that left leg, straighten it. Janu Shanasana legs. I didn't say and I'm so sorry if you need a block or something under your leg do. Always make sure you've got equipment if you need it. Take your hand on your shin and Open to your right, lovely open twist. Then we can lift up and lengthen, and then we can come over. And that's probably enough for most. Palm can come up, palm can come down, shoulders down the back. Breathe well into those right ribs. Some of you might get the left elbow in a leg, you might be to hook the toe or take a bind, and maybe bind with both hands. But for now, I'll stay like this. I just want you to feel how much space you can make between your ribs. It's so good to stretch like this. Keep the shoulders soft. We get very tight in our middles, don't we? So lengthening through the sides of the body. Try not to collapse in the left side either. 
creating more space. Yoga is all about creating space. More space for your breath and side bends. Well done. One more breath. Breathing in. And that big stretch up into wild thing. Lift your heart. Tuck your tail and push the right thigh forward. Just make it however you want. You can do this. You can come to a side bend. Whatever feels right for you. You can even just stay on the floor and you don't have to run. Nice deep breaths, appreciating all that space we've made in our practice today. And one more breath, breathing in and out all the way down. Well done, you've done so well. Give your legs a stretch out. Say thank you legs, they work very hard. We'll finish with a forward bend. It's always nice just to close the practice down. Inhale and reach. You might find you can reach a little bit further now. Now we've made all that space through the side body. So it's never about down, it's always a forward bend. Can you come a little bit further? Just like you've got to reach for something past your toes or in that direction. Well done, come back one more time. You might want to give yourself a big hug here and fold in. You might want to have a strap under your feet or hold your toes or under the feet. Five slow breaths. And relax. Soften your brow, soften your jaw. Start to slow down your thoughts, slow down your breath. We're just coming to a quieter place now. Just time to absorb all the good work you've done today. Slowly come up, find Shavasana. So come and lay on your mat. You might want to put a block under your head or a pillow or have a bolster underneath you. But get cosy. Take time to get it cosy because you deserve it. It's been quite a strong practice. Once you're down there, Take a few slow breaths to let yourself go. You could breathe in and you could breathe out. Oh, that's what you might need. And then when you're comfortable, let your breath settle. So sometimes the mind starts to go all over the place. If your mind is getting a bit chatty, it does that as soon as you're still. Just put your hand on your tummy to connect to the gentle movement of the breath. So your mind can become absorbed with the rhythmic flow of the breath. The in-breath, the out-breath. The pause between the breaths. And this is your grounding point. Let's just gently observe the sensations of the breath, the in-breath, the out-breath, the pause between the breath. Try not to manipulate the breath. Just the natural rhythm, the natural flow of the breath, whatever's comfortable for you. We can add a silent phrase here. We can add, I am at peace. I am peace. And on the next in breath, say to yourself, I am. And on the out breath, say peace. Breathing in, I am. Breathing out peace. Just continue to focus on the breath. Combine with that inner sound.
now let go of the phrase. Quietly let the breath settle. And just know this peace exists in you always. And you can connect with this peace at any time, anywhere. Just be, by becoming still and quiet and following your breath. So very slowly, just start to bring your awareness back. Maybe start to wiggle fingers and toes, stretch legs and arms, take a big yawn, big sigh. And then come and roll onto your side into the recovery position. And slowly help yourself up to seated. You can finish the practice. And when you're comfortable, it's a big breath into Prana Mudra, the energy Mudra. Gather all the energy to the crown, the brow, the throat, the heart, and keep it with you because you might need it later this week or somebody else might need it. Namaste. Om Shanti. Thank you so much for sharing the practice today and it's goodbye from Evie and me, if you can see Evie on the settee, it's having a rest today, so we meet again. <laughs>